In this video, we're gonna talk about the liquidation business or the flipping liquidation business, which requires no experience, no skills, you don't have to pay for any expensive courses, you don't have to go to college, and all you really need is some free time to do some research on your own, also the willingness to make some money, and you can actually become very successful in this business and you can actually make thousands of dollars. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually profit and make a lot of money by buying a lot of stuff that is still good, that is still basically brand new, and you're going to be paying much less than retail, and then you can go and resell all this stuff for a lot more and make a lot of profits either on Facebook or Facebook Marketplace or eBay or wherever you want and this is actually a good way to make a ton of money. Now the reason why you can make a lot of money with the liquidation business is for example if you buy an item or a product from let's say Amazon and you get the product and let's say you don't like the product if you return it to the seller opened, then usually they won't be able to sell it for full price. And in fact, sometimes they may not be able to resell it again at all. Now this happens every single day with thousands and thousands of products. And so sellers usually at some point in time find themselves with a lot of items or a lot of products that are new or usable, but they just can't sell them at retail prices. So what they'll do is they'll package all this stuff into a pallet and they'll sell the entire pallet for a flat amount. And then you can actually buy the entire pallet of stuff and then you can sort through it. And usually most of this stuff is gonna be like clothing or cheap items. But the point is you're gonna pay a small amount of money for these pallets and you can definitely take the entire contents and flip everything and this way you can make a lot of profits. Now previously you've probably come across Facebook ads where some seller has like a pallet of stuff selling and they won't be able to tell you what's inside but they'll usually say something like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna sell you this pallet of goods for $100 and it's filled with random stuff usually that you can resell and usually it's something like this where it's just a bunch of products from some business or some company or probably even from Amazon that are new but open and they just can't sell these stuff or it's just overstocked items they're not selling anymore and they're trying to make way for new inventory or different types of products and instead of just tossing these in the trash They'd rather just sell them in bulk for a small amount and then people will go buy these up and go flip them whole or they'll pull them apart and flip the individual items. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys because I don't ever wanna mislead you. There are times when you come across these pallets and it's filled with stuff, but it's either filled with stuff that are low value that won't sell for a lot of money, like cheap clothing, or it's filled with stuff that are slightly damaged that people don't want to buy, or it's just not usable. But for the most part, you can find a lot of good and useful stuff in these pallets and you can resell it for more money. So again, I don't want to give you guys false hope. You won't win with every single shipment or every single pallet that you get but for the most part you can make some decent money here now in this video I'm gonna explain all the steps that you need to take where you can go and actually buy the stuff how you can resell it and how you can make yourself some money and if this is the first time that you're coming across this channel and you're also seeing me for the first time my name is Ian and on this channel I talk about ways to make money ways to save money ways to invest your money I talk about bank accounts side gigs side hustles and just about everything to do with personal finance so if you like these videos and you like these types of topics be sure to give this video a thumbs up I'll really appreciate it it's hundred percent free won't cost you anything also be sure to subscribe with the notifications on and that way you'll never miss any of the future updates of when I post new videos on this channel. Also, if you guys ever wanna to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, you can message me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description. But let's get right back to the flipping liquidation business. Now, the first question you probably have is, Ian, where can I find these pallets of stuff? Where can I actually go and buy this stuff without getting finessed or scammed? Because again, you may see these ads on like Facebook Marketplace or even Craigslist. I've seen a couple of them. I've contacted the sellers and it turns out they didn't have anything selling. It was a scam. They were just trying to rip someone off. So if you wanna make money here, your best bet is to go directly to these companies. So for example, you can go directly to Amazon, you can go directly to Walmart, you can go to Best Buy, you can go to Costco, you can go to any one of these large companies because they all have stuff that's either returned or just not selling and they want to get rid of it and they have pallets and pallets of the stuff that they're gonna be selling for really cheap. So that's the easiest way to do it and actually some of these companies will have their own websites dedicated to liquidation. So for example, Walmart has their own liquidation website. You can go to liquidations.walmart.com and here for example, you can see that they have general merchandise 
they have bikes, they have salvage TVs, they have microwaves, and they actually give you a lot of information here. So for example, the first listing here is general merchandise. It's a truckload or around 20 pallet spaces of outdoor living, sporting goods, and more than 620 units. And the estimated retail value of this entire shipment is around $33,000. $588. Now the current bid is $10,000, meaning if you could get this for around $10,000, even if you sold all the stuff for half of what it was valued at, even at a 50% discount, you'd still make around $5,000 in profit. Now, if you don't have thousands and thousands of dollars to spend, then you can scroll through and look for a smaller number of pallets or other goods that aren't as expensive. And that is how you can actually go out there and you can get these pallets directly from the source. And this way you won't be finessed and you won't get scammed. Now, another good website that you can go to is this one that's called Liquidation. It's actually liquidation.com. And here, as they say, you can get merchandise at up to 70 to 90% off retail prices. And this may be a bit easier starting out because here they actually have uh, smaller items or they have individual items that you can get. So you don't have to go and necessarily buy a pallet or a truckload of goods for like 10 or even $15,000. Instead, you can come here and you can spend like $100 and upwards, maybe $1,000, and then you can actually start your own flipping business this way. So for example, you can find stuff here. I mean, here's a pallet of assorted general merchandise, and this is definitely going to sell for way less than 10,000. There are a couple bidders already, but you're probably gonna pay a couple hundred dollars at most for this. And you can actually look at the photos and you may be able to get an idea of what's inside some of these boxes. And looking from these photos, I could see that there was something like a Dyson vacuum in here. I think those go for upwards of $100 or almost around $200. So you can actually look and sometimes you can get clues as to what's inside. And then you can also have an idea of how much money you can get from flipping these items. Again, these items may be brand new, but just open box condition. So when you get them, all you gotta do is put them on like eBay, for example, list them as a brand new but open box. You can get a lot more money instead of selling them as used. Now, something else that you guys can do is you can go back to the homepage and you can actually search by the category and see the different categories. For example, here we have clothing and accessories. We have general merchandise. We have machinery. Then you can also go over to brands or retailers. And so here you can actually get stuff from Amazon. You can get stuff from Target, the Home Depot, Bed Bath & Beyond, Lowe's, and the list goes on and on and on. So this way you don't actually have to go out there and search or try to contact these different companies. You can actually just go to liquidation.com. You search by brand and you can buy from any of these companies. Now, if you've ever done like drop shipping before, this is a really similar concept. The only difference here is that you're actually getting the stuff and keeping an inventory, but you're getting the stuff for dirt cheap or pennies on the dollar compared to what it's worth or the retail price of it. So this is what you can actually use to make a lot of money. And usually, even if you don't sell every single thing from the pallet, you can still make profits. Now, as for the cost of starting something like this, the only major cost that you're gonna have is actually buying the stuff because you don't really need an LLC to start. You can start it today, you can just start, and if you start growing and you start making a lot of money or a lot more money, then you can form like a business entity, but you don't need a website, you don't need any experience, you don't need any high skills, you don't need to pay for a course. All you gotta do is, for example, go on a Facebook Marketplace or go on eBay and look at what things are selling for and then get an idea of how much you could actually flip some of this stuff for. So for example, I was looking at that shipment that had the vacuum that looked like a Dyson. And for example, I could go on eBay and if I saw that those were selling for like $500, then I know that if I paid $1,000 for all this stuff, then I'd definitely be making my money back and some profits because there are at least two of them there plus some other stuff. But if I saw that those were selling on eBay for like $25, then I probably wouldn't pay more than $200 to $300 for the shipment because then I would have an idea and I would actually know that this stuff is probably going to sell fast, but it's not gonna sell for a lot of money. I'm not gonna make a lot of profits here. So that is how you can actually go out there and you can do a little bit of research and a little bit of digging and get an idea of how much some things are selling for and that way you can tell if what you're about to buy is a really good deal or not since when you're starting out you wouldn't necessarily be an expert in this business now if you actually get into this business and you start liquidating some of this stuff and you're selling some but then you find yourself holding on to some merchandise or you have some stuff that just won't sell 
what you could do is you could bundle all the stuff that you can't get sold together and then you can take that to a local retailer probably like a thrift shop or some local shop maybe the flea market something like that and then you could actually sell them all the stuff that you can't sell yourself sell it to them in bulk for one flat low price and that way you can actually break even on that stuff get your money back for the stuff that you couldn't sell yourself and that's kind of like a backup plan just in case you're not able to sell every single thing and you're not able to liquidate everything and make money from all the stuff that you got in these pallets. Now, I think the only downside to this business is that it requires some capital up front. It's not like drop shipping where you can simply just find some product and list it on some website and then do the fulfillment from some other website. Here you actually have to spend some money up front to get those pallets or to get these shipments. So that's the only downside. But like I said before, you don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. You can look for shipments that are only hundreds of dollars in value. You can always start small. And another thing that you can do if you have absolutely no experience with selling anything is you can simply just grab stuff around your house and you can sell them first. And then you can go through the full process of shipping or actually meeting people and doing that exchange. And that will help to build your confidence and you'll be much more confident to actually go out there and do this on a much bigger scale. So with that said, I want you guys to comment down below. Let me know if you know anyone in this business or if this is something that you'll be trying yourself. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like this content. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any of the updates of when I post new videos. And if you guys are ever looking for other ways to make more money, be sure to check out my playlist of side gigs and business ideas. I have over 100 videos. And with that said, I hope you guys make a lot of money with this method. All the best and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.